Hey, I heard that your design process is wiggy and backward. That doesn't sound like a good thing. No, it's backwards designed by Wiggins. It's a good thing. Really. I promise. Backwards design? Why not forwards? You're kind of famous for being so forward thinking. It's backwards because you start with the end goal and make up the steps you need to work toward that goal. You plan it backwards and do it forwards. But Srinkyakigard said you have to live life forwards and understand it backwards. I'm talking about lesson plans, not real life. <laughs> In any case, as a teacher I'm supposed to understand this material in advance. I'll design the lesson plan backwards using this understanding. My students will do the lesson plan forwards, and hopefully they'll understand it by the time they're done. Understand it? Don't you mean remember it? Isn't learning about retaining important facts? Not really. I mean, of course there are things each student needs to remember, but 20 years from now it won't be important for them to know the capital of Sri Lanka. The goal of backwards design is not so much the retention of specific facts as the fostering of an enduring understanding of the material. Enduring understanding? It's kind of self-explanatory. It's understanding that endures. I want my students to be able to apply the things we learn outside of the classroom. I want the lessons to stick with them. For that to happen, I need to clear up misunderstood concepts and create an engaging learning environment. I don't tell them something and expect them to remember it. I ask them questions and help them find the answers for themselves. I see your care Kegard and raise you as Socrates. How do you know what questions to ask? You select essential questions for the audience or students to be able to answer by the end of the lesson. These point toward your end goal, which is the first thing you established, if you're working backwards. If your goal is for your students to know all about cell membranes, you ask them some specific questions about cell membranes. If they get the questions right, they understand the material. I didn't know you taught biology. I'll give you the benefit of the doubt and chalk that up to a bad example. You're missing the point. The questions I create need to focus on the idea and process of the discipline being taught. It works for history or math just as well as it works for biology. All questions should be directly related to the larger concept and understanding that you want the students to lead with. So let me get this straight. You pick out a goal. Something you want your students to understand. Then you work backwards from that goal, to create a lesson plan for your students to learn the material. Along the way, you ask them questions that point to the goal you've set. When your students can answer the questions, they understand the material, right? Exactly. Their answers to your questions are your measure of their understanding. Do you think you could use this process if you had to? Oh sure. It's kind of wiggy, but it sounds easy. It makes sense, in a backward kind of way. Backwards, not backward. And it's Wiggins, not Wiggy. So much for enduring understanding. Whatever.